Mike Huckabee has constructed a 10,000 square foot mansion in Florida on a beach and he has been fighting aggressively to prevent tourists and beachgoers from enjoying that strip of land in front of his home and he has tried to privatize it. So unfortunately, he has gotten what he's wanted. But this story has all sorts of twists and turns and it is indicative of what we're seeing in the country overall where rich people are taking everything that anyone could possibly enjoy and they're keeping it for themselves and preventing anyone else from enjoying it. So let me give you the details. Not long after his 2008 presidential bid, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee bought a beachfront plot in the Florida Panhandle and built a three story, 10,000 square foot mansion with six bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, and a pool. Let's so look, there so far, nothing wrong. I mean, he got rich through politics, okay, and through Fox News, and, and that's a giant house, but. He's allowed to buy a giant house, it's a free country. So, so far it appears there's nothing wrong, but there is something wrong. Yes. So this area is because of climate change is in a lot of trouble, okay? Constant flooding, constant extreme storms. And so the taxpayers are gonna end up having to pay for any type of damage that's gonna be done to this property. But we'll get to that in just a minute, okay? Now, have, this is what he had said about that home. Having grown up dirt poor in Arkansas, I never thought I'd see salt water in person, much less live on a beach. That's what he had said. And it's important for you to keep that quote in mind because he's trying to prevent people from enjoying that saltwater beach, right? Yeah. Okay. So Huckabee built and his- And people that grew up like he did. Right. He's like, well, so what? You weren't a corrupt guy like me and you didn't get paid by Fox News, etc. So ha ha, now it's my beach. So this area is known as Walton County and apparently it does attract a lot of tourists. A lot of spring breakers go there and they mm. have a good time. And Huckabee just wants to get rid of the riffraff, right? Mm. He doesn't want to have to deal with them. So in 2012, Huckabee hired a lawyer and asked a judge to grant him ownership of the land stretching from the dune at the front of his house down to the mean high water line, right? That's the whole beach. So, yeah. And so he bought, now look, remember when uh, the 2008 crash happened? Republicans like Huckabee said, well, it's the homeowner's fault. Uh, they shouldn't have gotten those mortgages and personal responsibility. Uh, we're not gonna punish any of the bankers, we're gonna protect them. We're gonna get them their money back. But if you lost your house, ah, well, you shouldn't have made that deal, it's your fault, right? Mm -hmm. But when Huckabee made the deal to buy this house, it was a $6 million house. He didn't own the property in front of it. He didn't own the sand, he didn't own the beach. Well, uh, he doesn't care about personal responsibility. Sad day, right? So he's like, nope, I don't care. I'm gonna use every kind of political corruption there is to try to snatch that beach away from people, even though it was not part of your original deal, Mike. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, at first, he got what he wanted, right? So he goes to a judge and he's like, look, there's these spring breakers, there's dog uh, poop here, I, I can't deal with it. Can you please give me what you want, what I want? And apparently, according to Mother Jones, no one appears to have protested the request and the judge agreed giving Huckabee the land, that public beach for a mere $400. Nearly two dozen of his neighbors have also quietly annexed the beach while escaping any additional taxes. Okay, let's stop for a second. First of all, that is incredibly valuable land. How do you get that land for $400? Well, his own land right next to it is $6 million. It's insane. Okay, and the beach is more valuable, not less valuable. Let alone the millions of dollars taxpayers have already put into that beach, which we'll explain in a minute. But just like, just like criminals who get too greedy, in this case, rich people got too greedy. So in 2016, a rash of homeowners attempting to privatize their beaches prompted Walton County to pass an ordinance declaring all 26 miles of beach in the county open for public use, although many remained privately owned. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, the people living in that area, the residents living in that area, and I'm not specifically talking about the mansion owning you know, beachfront properties. They pay taxes, so they should be able to enjoy that public land, okay? So I think that what happened here with the ordinance made all the sense in the world. Well, let me give you a couple more pieces of context there. When Huckabee and the others got their land, they treated it like a VIP area. So they cordoned it off with ropes and hired private security. but. A lot of his neighbors wanted to come onto the to the beach, and they wouldn't let them on either. 
So they're like, what the hell is going on? This is a public beach. I live here and I pay taxes. And they're like, nope, private security hired by Mike Huckabee will not allow you on the public beach. So people who were renting in the area not allowed on, etc. And he, now I want to tell you that in 1974, the Florida Supreme Court said, no, you're not allowed to sell off public beaches in Florida. Mm-hmm. So they are absolutely stone cold wrong on the law. Absolutely. And wait right. till you see how they changed it again. But right, well. right. So uh, now a Democrat comes into play, which makes me even more furious, right? So Huckabee doesn't get what he wants. There's this public ordinance, and he's like, no, I'm not going to give up. I don't want, I don't tourists and and poor people on these beaches. I want to enjoy it for myself and that's it. So he starts trying to appeal to some of the uh, politicians in the state of Florida. And at that point, Representative Katie Edwards Walpole, a Democrat from South Florida, gives him what he wants. Uh, She co-sponsored a measure that gutted the ability of local governments to pass ordinances uh, granting public access to privately owned beaches. So. A corrupt Democrat with three names from South Florida. Hmm. She needs to be primaried. <laughs> like they need to go after her because, like the people of Florida. I mean, look, I know that there are a lot of right wingers in Florida, but guess what? Right wingers love beaches too. Yeah. Right. So th- this is what got uh, uh, Trump in a little bit of trouble in Utah because people love the public lands there, and and when they started selling off the private lands so they could you know privatize the profits, and and the American people don't get to share with them, and they don't get to go to the parks, people got mad, and so now they're just cordoning off all the beaches. But get a load of the injustices here. So the city has, or the county, I should say, already has already spent millions of dollars uh, trucking in sand to re-nourish the beaches and. Uh, and they do that one because, of course, the public enjoys the beach, and that's the job of the government is to serve the public. But also because tourism is a huge part of the industry there, yeah. so the businesses need for people to be able to access the beaches. So they put in millions of dollars into the beaches. In the first go around, Huckabee stole that land for four hundred bucks. Yes, for four hundred bucks. Yes. And so that got overturned because it was highway robbery, or in this case, beach robbery. And so then he's like, he tried a Republican first. He gave this Republican guy who said he would do it a thousand bucks, and then he started up a fake company, and the fake company gave him a thousand bucks. Yeah, the company doesn't exist. There's no website. There's no nothing, right? And so he's funneling the corruption towards Republicans, and that miraculously didn't work. Right, right. So then he went and bought off a Democrat, and now the Democrat did the dirty business. Yeah, for him. maybe the Republican politician in this case was smart enough to understand that this could be political suicide. Maybe I shouldn't privatize these beaches. But one final thing that I want to add. Remember, these are wealthy people who are buying these mansions, these beachfront mansions to enjoy as their vacation homes. Let's go to graphic 68. There are only 900 or so beachfront property owners, many of whom are not full time county residents, and more than 14,000 Walton County residents have signed affidavits supporting public beach use. I mean, most of them aren't even there all the time anyway, but they still want to do this land grab and prevent anyone else from enjoying those beaches. It's disgusting. Two easy ways. Follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.